How are you doing it? How are you showing up consistently? So for us, for our partners, we do something similar. If you would, we create the, the, the main video, the longer form video, three to five or seven minutes, depending on what it is. Uh, I like fast moving quick, right? I like 15 seconds. We're moving on to something else, right? Mm. Uh, and, and, you know, because if you give the person, if you give anybody caught launch to be, to talk, they can be long winded. So that's why when I write in the script, I'm like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, right? In each particular area. Uh, what we're doing is we're taking the longer form video and then uh, we're cutting it down to a one minute impactful piece. And then we're taking that and turn it into uh, repurposing it for reels, you know, nine by 16. We're repurposing it one by one so we can use that in LinkedIn and probably the in, in Instagram and inline feed if you want. Um, and you can use the nine by 16 and TikTok as well, if you want. And we also do it this way because what I find is one of the most powerful places that you can be posting for long term, people aren't doing, and that's Google. So you put it on whatever mm. Google calls themselves this day for our business listings, right? Next week, it'll be something different. You can take a, a 75 meg video, one minute long, upload it, write a blog or an article, if you would, up to 1500 characters, put a link to your Facebook right? Put, or, or not to your Facebook, to your YouTube or the landing page that you're talking about. So now here's Google, the number one site in the world. You're, instead of it going out, finding your content, you're injecting it right into it, right? And now that can help drive traffic to the other places. Uh, so that, that's what we do. We, we, we try to get all the pieces come into one or two central areas where we can capture them or where they can see, or on YouTube, you know, you can have uh websites down in your description. So now that can be piece of the funnel where they're going to take the next step and go search for homes for sale, uh, search for businesses in the area, search for whatever fun to do in, in your town. So that's how we do it. We, we take the big pieces, break them down into small pieces, put them across all the different platforms, change them up a little bit with different templates and things mm. and try to get that engagement. Realistically, what we want is somebody to be like, oh, my God, that's so cool. Don't you think so? What's your favorite part? And engage in that conversation because it's the conversation that leads to the relationship, which leads to further business. What would you say? What would you say for content where people can start or business owners can start when it comes to content? Because with Explore My Town, I do mm -hmm. see the different business owners that are part of it. Mm -hmm. They go into, it's almost like niche, right? They pick the, they pick their areas and then they talk about those areas. Is yeah. that where you want people to gravitate to and start? Or should they start with relationships that they have? Where, where do you send them to? That's a great question. So just, just to give a quick explainer about why we do it the way that we do it is because in order to build a system, you need to have boundaries, right? So we put boundaries on it. And that's why we do it the way that we do. That way we can put people through the system. It's the same manual for everybody, right? It's the same training for everybody. And we deviate from that. That is our suggestion. This is, this is our suggestion to get started. Tristan, every single day, and this, this is what I tell my partners, every single day you're having a cup of coffee or a juice, or you're going out for lunch, going out for dinner, catalog this stuff. If, if you're going out for coffee, Stop going to Starbucks, stop going to Dunk, stop going to the name brand places and start going to Tina's Bean or Joey's Coffee Shop or Gina's Drive Through, right? And get the coffee. And then you can say, hey, guys, I can't start my day without this Tina. Or, hey, every time I'm in the area, I love to get my Tina's Bean coffee, right? They roast the beans here fresh every Tuesday and Friday. And they also have organic treats and stuff like that. Come check out Tina's Bean over on Main Street. They're in the second building in the back. Something along those lines, right? I just spitballed that. I just came up with that, right? I told you about that story. Everywhere we live, there's history. So you could start a history series, right? Uh, and say, hey, did you guys know that in 1782, this happened right here? And you're standing there with a the marker in your background. Just don't make it any of the the difficult situations that we're dealing with, right? In society yeah. right now, make them 